We all know nature can be a little weird at times, but what I'm about to show you is on a whole other level. If all that bizarre twirling has left you dazed and confused, stick around to find out more about the insect world's answer to Bruce Lee, alongside perilous drone flights and a waterfall of clouds, in this episode of Things You Will See for the First Time in Your Life. They say that cats have got nine lives, but I've got a feeling these next kitties are tallying a lot less than that after this run-in. These frightened felines are Tofu and Kanji, two cats living in London, England, who weren't exactly left smiling like their Cheshire counterpart after this encounter. There's something endlessly hilarious about the tense movements of a terrified cat, and coming face to face with an eerily realistic cat mask, Tofu retreated with his dignity left behind to save himself from what looks like a visit from the Satan of the feline world. For animals that are meant to be witch's best friend, it looks like these two scaredy cats won't be joining in on any future spooky festivities. From humanoid cats now to a real-life uh, catzilla? This Kitty Kong is Mittens the pet cat of John Lawton, who found his furry friend putting her nose where it didn't really belong in November 2021. While you'd think you would have heard about a giant cat squeezing through a tunnel, turns out John is actually a model railway enthusiast, and Mittens just couldn't keep her mitts off the track, treating it like her own personal playground. Let's move on from kitty contortionists to another kind of acrobatics now. This 20-year-old gymnast is Leah Clapper, and you just saw what she says was her longest ball surf yet in October 2021. While these kinds of balls are intended for exercise, I'm not sure I'd recommend trying this stunt out at your local gym, unless you have a thing for aggravating short-tempered weightlifters, or crashing into mirrors. While the human body can do some pretty, uh, awesome stuff, the animal kingdom is filled with a whole host of creatures with some pretty mind-blowing moves of their own. That's one critter that you probably don't want to pet. This is an angled sunbeam caterpillar, the larval form of the angled sunbeam butterfly found across India, Southeast Asia, and Southern China. This caterpillar comes with a pair of little friends that pop out of it in a pretty creepy manner when it's disturbed. These natural nunchucks are actually sensory tentacle organs covered with little venomous needles that extend from the caterpillar's two tubular periscopes. This chuck-wielding caterpillar spends its pre-pupil time adhered to a leaf at this stage in its life cycle and will lose its silky pom-poms when it enters its chrysalis phase. The wicked fast twirling movement is meant to scare off potential attackers, and with moves to rival Bruce Lee's, I'd say it's pretty clear that no predators will be returning for this insect's game of death. Although that caterpillar has plenty of natural talent to showcase, there's no beating the satisfaction of mastering a skill yourself. That's why I've teamed up with today's sponsor, Skillshare, the easy-to-use online learning community where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare gives you the tools to learn new skills and master old ones in your free time. 
I just started my journey away from embarrassingly bad drawing by learning how to draw some awesome sea monsters. And like me, you're guaranteed to find a course to fit every niche. With courses in everything from logo design to DSLR photography, Skillshare has everything you need to reignite your love of learning. Luckily for you guys, the first 1,000 Be Amazed viewers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare, so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. When families rocked up to the Water's Edge exhibit at Pittsburgh Zoo, Pennsylvania in August 2007, I imagine they were hoping for an up-close and personal look at one of the planet's apex predators. But maybe not quite this personal. <laughs> Looks like this polar bear had quite the performance planned for spectators as he plopped in the water that day, even stopping to turn around and take a look at his creation. Polar bears spend about 10 to 20 percent of their day in the water, and when they've gotta go, they've really gotta go. This polar bear's latest release must have caused a major rift with his enclosure buddies. Talk about explosive tensions. Ew, someone pooped in the pool! I just feel bad for the poor zoo employee who had to clean that mess up. While that explosion might have left you feeling a little queasy, this next eruption will make your head spin in a totally different way. You might be thinking that we've been transported into the realms of Middle-earth, but this cinematic spectacle took place on our very own regular Earth. This super-shot fire drone footage was shot by Iceland aerials during an eruption that ran from March to October in 2021. That's seven months of continuous eruption. After a series of earthquakes rocked the Reykjans Peninsula, in southwest Iceland and caused several fissures to appear around the active volcano region, lava burst from the land, forming the type of hellscape usually reserved for Hollywood blockbusters. Not only had there been no volcanic eruption for 815 years on the Reykjans Peninsula until this one that began on March 19, 2021, but it was the first time the Gildingadalur volcano had erupted in 6,000 years. The eruption spewed over 1 trillion 430 billion liters of lava through its flare-up, which is about two and a half times the volume of water in Sydney Harbor. Because lava is so hot, sometimes exceeding 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it remains molten and flows across the ground until it cools and hardens into rock. So the eruption in Iceland will permanently change the surrounding landscape. Due to its proximity to Reykjavik, being just 15 miles southwest of the Icelandic capital, the eruption became quite the attraction through 2021 with locals and tourists alike flowing into the valley to behold the awesome view. Thankfully, despite the intimidating appearance of the fields of magma, their somewhat isolated position several miles away from settlements meant no damage was done to people nor property. And unlike the One Ring, this drone managed to escape melting into an orange oblivion of Mount Doom and made it safely back home to the guys at Iceland Aerials, so that we could all see this <coughs> precious footage. From one spicy orange substance to another now, for a lot of people, a car isn't just a means of getting around. It's their pride and joy. This was certainly the case for Matt Burton, a petrol head from Saratoga Springs, Utah, and proud owner of a bright orange Lotus Elise. While a bright orange sports car can be quite the roof raiser for your social life, I'm not sure Matt quite expected this kind of takeoff. Ah! 
While Matt knew he'd bought a convertible, I doubt he realized that his model was so keen to strip off. As the Elise reached speeds of around 65 miles per hour, the force of wind resistance resulted in the roof's latches snapping off, sending the top up, up, and away into the air. Most hardtop roofs for a Lotus Elise like Matt's typically weigh around 6.6 .6 pounds, about the same as a wooden toilet seat, which might not seem like a lot unless it's flying right at you going 60 miles per hour. Matt's roof actually sailed over three cars driving behind him, miraculously missing all of them. The flying roof ended up in a bicycle lane, and while it didn't cause any physical damage, it was quite the car catastrophe for Matt's wallet when he had to fork out $2,000 to replace the hardtop. Matt's Lotus has a special feature that allows the owner to manually remove the roof, and he admitted that the incident was probably down to the fact that he hadn't latched the roof's nuts and bolts correctly when replacing it. While he may have been going fast, Matt didn't seem to be too furious and recognized the viral power of the footage of the incident captured from his dashcam, sharing it with the world. For some people, a stroll on the beach is a perfect way to spend an afternoon. And while the deep blue sea may seem tranquil, it's what's on the beach that you might have to look out for. He's like, what's up, bro? What's up? What's up? This is a blue crab, native to the western edge of the Atlantic Ocean and encountered by Jeremy Cruz in May 2017. Moving in for a closer look, Jeremy was met with quite a cold reception from the aqua-clawed crab, who raised his pinchers up Mortal Kombat style. Slashing towards Jeremy's camera lens, it's pretty clear this aggressive little dude was not in the mood to pose for a pic. These ten-legged crustaceans have strong, sapphire-tinted claws, which can pry open the shells of clams, mussels, and snails, so you might not want to get your digits too close like Jeremy did. Blue crabs, like the one encountered by Jeremy, can only live for around three years, so perhaps this little snapper was grouchy because it didn't want to waste its precious time in front of the camera. Or maybe this crab was just delivering a UFC-style pre-fight smack-talking session. If anyone speaks crab, let me know down in the comments below. From one camera-shy crustacean to one that it can't get enough of the spotlight now. While bored in paradise, Deirdrick Ryan set up a GoPro at the entrance of a hole outside a diving resort in Fiji, and what he saw certainly snapped him into action. This would-be vlogger with a shell made for the silver screen put on quite the show, twirling around before stopping to take what looks like a classic selfie and then going in to steal the camera. The GoPro pincher tried to drag the camera down into his hole as Deirdrick watched from the building behind. Rushing in to put a stop to the camera caper, Deirdrick's rescue was captured in full as he wrestled to reach his bit of kit before it descended into the earth forevermore. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> Far from crabby about the situation, Deirdrick certainly saw the funny side. Following the trail of chuckles from that beachside crab hole way, way up into the sky now, passengers on a flight from Charleston, South Carolina to Nashville, Tennessee got quite an unexpected serving of laughs in August 2021. In a performance that should make you think twice about scrambling for that window seat, these Hunger Games were more than enough to lift the mood on board the near-empty flight as it set off on its journey. Not only will providing free-falling snacks get Southwest Airlines attendants some very favorable passenger reviews, it probably even beats out watching a movie on a tiny screen for the best choice of in-flight entertainment. 
I know who I'm booking my next flight with. Uh, not sponsored, by the way. Though, if anyone from Southwest Airlines wants to fly over my house and drop down some snacks, hey, they're very welcome. Moving on from a sky-high feast for your stomach to one for your eyes only. And believe me, this is a banquet your peepers have been waiting for. This heavenly footage was taken atop Bluff Knoll, a peak in the Stirling mountain range in the great southern region of Western Australia in 2020. The bluff welcomed over 120,000 peak seekers through 2020 who embarked on the challenging three to four hour round trip of hiking the peak. Rising 3,606 feet above sea level, Bluff Knoll is often shrouded in mist which curls around the peaks and floats into the gullies. In the past, these constantly changing mists carried along and downwards by air currents over the natural topography were believed to be the visible form of an evil spirit that local Aboriginal people called Noetch. Far from evil in reality, this cloud waterfall looks nothing short of heavenly as it rolls over the peaks. Captured by Australian adventure vlogger Cam Bostock, this celestial scene is breathtaking, not just because of the view, but because I'll bet the altitude up there does a number on your lungs. They do say that the best view comes from the hardest climb, but you don't even have to get off your couch to take in a panoramic landscape of amazing sights every day. Simply hike your mouse on over to those like and subscribe buttons and set up camp on that bell icon to be kept in the loop every time I drop a new video adventure. Done? All right, let's press on. If lazy adventures are more your thing, then you might want to take some tips from this little fella. Now you need to just hang on. Hang, hang on to that. Can you do that? Ale minor! Ale minor, aprete! Vamos, vamos, dale, acá, acá. Májela, májela, májela. No se cae, 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 llévela. Y ahora más, no, aquel palito allá más. Ahí en el palo. Waving to you. Gail Stokes was in Tortuguero, Costa Rica, when they spotted this sloth in the middle of a heavy boat traffic area. Concerned that the sloth had found itself too far from shore, Gail outstretched a friendly paddle. Hitching a ride on the paddle, the world had probably never gone by so fast for this sloth, who seemed to enjoy the experience and even managed a quick wave to a watcher on the shore. Sloths have painfully sluggish speeds on land and have very weak hind legs, so must rely on their upper body strength to pull themselves forward. But surprisingly enough, if you plop them into water, their naturally buoyant coat means they float and can move three times as fast as on land. Their long front arms make them skillful doggy paddlers, and they can even hold their breath for up to 40 minutes. So it looks like this sloth may not have really needed help after all and was just looking for a free ride. I chastise him for being lazy, but oh, who could stay mad at that little fella? This massive school of Menhaden fish was spotted off the coast of Southampton, New York in October 2021. More commonly known as bunker fish, Menhaden are a species of herring found in Atlantic coastline waters. 
Menhaden are schooling fish, which means that they prefer moving around in large groups for a safety in numbers approach to life. Luckily for us, these groups tend to swim close to the water's surface during the spring, summer, and fall to feed on surface-dwelling plankton, allowing for captured moments like these to be shared with the world. Their reflective silver scales are largely responsible for this mesmerizing performance, which looks more like a ripple of ink curling through the waves. Beautiful stuff. And if any coders in the audience know how to turn this amazing site into an interactive screensaver that follows your cursor around, please do us all a favor, leave a comment below. Which of these amazing sites had your jaw on the floor? Do you have any more amazing footage you'd like to share? Send it to us at stories at be amazed, and we might feature it in our next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.